Hello, this is Eric Cunningham. Today I'm going to make a presentation on how to add thousands of activities to your schedule within minutes. So let's get started. Our, our project is a steam generating, plant, steam generating plant in Whiteville, North Carolina. Project code STWN, I've already built that in. Now, the WBS that I've set up, extreme, straightforward, simple WBS. We're dividing this into the following categories, earthwork, civil, structural, and so forth. To expand that, expand all, and you can see, for example, the uh, civil work has been divided between the boiler footers and building footers. Simple, but uh, very effective for our demonstration. Now, activities. I previously built this activity table. Um, the columns that you need, activity ID, activity name. This one is a activity code, could be anything. This is a, a responsibility. We'll need the original duration. Predecessors and successors, we can edit these columns to uh, rearrange logic. We'll be adding resources to this column. Calendar, it'll show the existing calendar for the uh, activity. We can change it if we want. Duration type, same idea. WBS will serve as a check to make sure we're working within the same WBS. So, we shall get started right now. Coming down to preliminary earthwork. Let's add five activities. Coming up to the command bar, uh, upper right hand corner where the white plus is, just click it five times. One, two, three, four, five. There you go, you got five new activities. You could have clicked this 50 or you could have clicked it 500 if you like to click. But you can see we've got Activities ordered uh, uh, with increments of 10. All, they all have the same duration, five days. Uh, same calendar, same duration type, so forth. Now, um, we can do the rest even quicker. We hit the Shift key. Now left-click on the mouse. Right-click on the mouse. Left click for copy, go down to the next WBS, left click, I'm sorry, that was a right click, excuse me. Left click for paste. And you see you've added the five, the five activities. Again, this, this same procedure could, could uh, involve a hundred or a thousand. Coming down to the boiler. Same idea. Building footers, again, left click, right click, left click on the paste. Structural steel, left click, right click, left click on the paste, left here, left. Building steel, Right click, left click on the paste. Okay, um, we could go on down through boiler and boiler tubes, ductwork, etc. But I'm trying to keep this thing under 15 minutes. And um, I, what I've done shows you the methodology behind this thing. Now, um, First activity on a construction site, you'd want to uh, clear and grub. There you get uh, chop down all the trees, uh, get rid of the garbage, beer bottles, everything else. Let's use seven days for that one. Next activity, grade to level. And that'll take two days. Small site. Next activity. 
Preliminary survey. And that'll take us one day. So these uh, new activities here, we really don't need them. So let's uh, select them and just delete them. That selection was done with the, uh, with the shift key. Coming down to the foundation and slab earthwork. Now, rather than watch me type, um, it's better that uh, we copy activities from an existing Excel spreadsheet that I've got set up. So we'll just go ahead and do that. The Excel sheet now is on my laptop monitor and we're recording off of an external monitor, so you're, you're not going to see the Excel sheet. But I, I'll, I'll be explaining what I'm doing here. So I'm going to highlight and copy from the Excel sheet. Coming over here. Now, back in the old days, you could left click here, and then right click to have paste. As you can see, that's not happening. This is a new improvement that's made with version 8.3. Uh, Primavera is aware of the problem, and um, they're going to they're gonna fix it, supposedly, in the next uh, release. So I'm going to start this again from the Excel sheet. Copy. Come over here. Hit Control-V. So we have the ex we excavate boiler footers A1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we're going to uh, excavate uh, footers for the building. Um, and final leveling of the slab. Make sure everything's perfect before we start doing any concrete work. Okay, uh, we hit the shift key. Get rid of those. And uh, let's call that six days, um, seven days, and two days. Coming down to the boiler footers for the, we're actually gonna start building form work and so forth. Back to the Excel sheet. Copy. And control V to paste it. Boom. Um, same form work for the building columns. Now we're going to set some rebar. I'll leave the anchor bolts out of this thing here. But in real life, you would want some anchor bolts. Control V. Okay. Um, five days sounds good. Let's make that seven days. Um, let's make that four and four new activity. We don't need that. Up on the command bar, the red X. Gone. Building footers. Oops. <laughs> um, wrong dog on WBS got into my form, got into my, uh, got, got into my presentation. Not a worry. I can show you something else. Since these are already set up for the, uh, this one and this one are already set up for the, uh, uh, building. We'll just drag them on down to the building footer WVS. 
So you, you saw how that you saw how that dragged. So I got to show you something extra there. Now these activities. Hit the shift key and the left click. Right click. Delete. And we'll leave the duration the same there. Structural steel on the boiler. We're going to set these columns that we built the footers for. Okay. Now we're going to have to uh, put the main beams. These uh, boilers can weigh up to 30 tons. So it takes a in real life, it takes a lot more steel than what we're showing here. Okay, now, these three activities, we're going to delete them. Shift, delete. Building steel, same idea. Building columns. Control V. And the beams. Copy. Control V for paste. Good. Four days. Leave that at five. Let's make that four. Now, my 15 minutes is running out. So we have added several activities to the schedule within a very, very short time. Next lesson, we'll uh, set the relationships, activity codes, and assign res resources. Thanks for watching.